The Transporters is a children's animation series and it was commissioned by the government as a new way to help children with autism. A key area of difficulty for children with autism is reading faces, reading people's emotions and understanding other people's actions. So they turn away from the social world because other people's behaviour is very confusing to them. What we're trying to do is bring them back into the social world by using something much more familiar to them, namely vehicles, but putting emotions onto vehicles so that they learn to approach and understand the social world through the objects that they find much easier to relate to. Because vehicles move in a very predictable way. And children with autism and Asperger's syndrome love predictability. OK, so we're going to do exactly what we did last time. Do you remember what we did last time? Don's friend has hurt his back, but Don wants to help him. Thank so you. what do you think Don might look like if he wants to help his friend? Which one? And this one. <laughs> Very good. Don has got a problem understanding feelings. And the direct result of this at home is that he's always fighting with his sister. Being broken down makes me sad. The next step in this whole project was to decide which emotions to put onto the vehicles. So we went for easy emotions, the basic ones like happy, sad, angry, afraid, surprised. But also more complex emotions like ashamed, proud, jealous, uh, and even joking. Tom had to uh, look at the DVD uh, every day, and so also uh, we could go beyond that by asking him, uh, by me asking him a few questions after each episode, uh, or by there was also a little quiz on the DVD that he could do, um, and that's what we did. So after school, he would come in and we'd spend a bit of time together having a look at the DVD. Sometimes he would just do it on his own. Sometimes with me. And uh, after months, we came back here to check if it made progress. In each episode, effectively what we're aiming at is that the child gets to look at a face, get to see the situation that causes the emotion, and that way they're not just learning the names of, of these emotions, but also the context, what gives rise to, the, to these emotions. It's, I think it's quite a clever idea, really, to, to, show, to explain him what a feeling he is by a, a short clip. She began to feel better. The children will have a lovely time at the observatory, she said. That's all that really matters. It's extremely difficult to explain a child who has got language difficulty. How do you explain feelings? Do you know, do you sure, know when sure. you might be happy? I might be happy with mummy. Very good. Since he's done the test, um, Tom started going to people and asking them about um, are you happy or are you sad and trying to pick up on people's facial expression. And what about a sad face? Do you know what sad means? A um, sad face and angry. So if somebody's not smiling, you know, are you sad? Are you okay? He's going to ask, are you okay? Are you sad? Oh look, he's happy or try to share it with us a bit more and, and going to, um, uh, to his sister and if she's hurt herself, feeling concerned for her.